And people are trying to play Misty's with the Hat Sisters. With the Hat Sisters? Yeah, because Misty can grab three supporters, so mm -hmm. it sets up next turn for the Hat Sister combo. Or if you're being a degenerate person like I would be, um, <laughs> you could play Pop Off on Miss Magius, set off the set off Surge, and then go Misty Hat Sisters all in one turn. There you go. But I'm a mean player. I'm a mean person when I play. I'm surprised that we haven't seen Surge get abused yet. I mean, that's you heard you heard me earlier today when we were talking. I think it's going to get banned and expanded when we get a ban yeah. announcement this Thursday. Huh. This is another interesting card that I, I think if we find the right partner for it in the future, it could be really good. Is the Zygarde? Oh, baby Zygarde. Baby Zygarde. Well, it has to be used with. The other Zygarde, the Zygarde GX, I would think. No, it's any Zygarde or Zygarde GX. Oh, which so ah, technically so Zygarde I, EX won't count. Zygarde EX does not count. Oh. but but it feeds it feeds the fighting energy, right? But I mean, this this attack is similar to like I was just saying earlier, Oblivion Wing. Yeah, and. And that that saw plenty of play in card in decks like Turbo Dark back in the day, and plenty others. So the fact that you could oblig you could do that and have three on the bench plus a Deante for a plus eighty, mm. while also accelerating about energies, Deancy, yeah. while also accelerating energies, I think mm. it has a dangerous oh, no. potential future combo. I'm seeing the pattern again. Yikes! So. Th the same uncommons in back-to-back -back packs. I had this happen in another box. Mm. Keep an eye out to see if you pull two packs in a row of the same uncommon thing. I have... You're pulling a lot more trainers than I am as well. Hey guys, the, the codes will be shown when we get pulls. Apparently, we're not pulling too many good cards right now. As I say, I'm not getting many trainers. I had three in that pack. <laughs> oh, you actually had a triple trainer pack. <laughs> well, one was a one was a ref, but yeah. So when we get that Sil Valley, will this type now be used? Hmm. It'll be. Uh, or the other there's one? one that's in Ultra, Ultra Prism, Prism, but I think the fact that that has an attack for one colorless would be a good sign for it. Oh, we have a Rowlet and Executor. Regular art? Or regular art. A Loman okay. Executor. I get full art choo choo. It's a little bit better than what I got. <laughs> and a reset stamp in the same pack. Mm. I'll show the code. Make I sure will, you show your code. I will also show the code for everyone. We actually have a few people uh, watching. What are your what are your thoughts on Rowlet and Alolan Executor? I like the idea. I'm kind of mad that Venusaur is kind of going out of format. Yeah, it reminds me in a bit to be or it reminds me to be a bit similar to. I don't know if you paid much attention to Expanded last season, but there was a deck that a few people were playing that was using Ditto Prism and evolving it into the Cradilly. From the, one of the black and white sets that just searches your deck for any maybe. evolution Pokemon and flings it onto your bench. Yep. And people were playing that and just tossing out Ooh, regular art choo choo. The item lock vile plume and then they were Oh Jesus. And being having lots of fun with that. But one of the one of the reasons that wasn't super popular is that needs beaches. Ooh. I might want that. Yeah. <laughs> I got an alternate art. Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. Ooh, the alternate are nice. That's um This is this is an interesting thing. This is the first Mega we've seen come out in a set since Evolutions. Yep. And I have a feeling that we're probably not gonna see any Megas come out because we're kind of taken out of the video games. Yeah, we'll 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 see I, I don't know, I think I think we'll see the occasional random one just like this, but Cherish Full Attack Switch. Mm. Like, I'm not complaining that I'm getting Cherish Ball and Tax, which is the same bag, but it's weird. Rev LGM. So what do you think the next mechanic's going to be? Because they're kind of announced at the Worlds, most likely. I think they'll do... I, f I have a feeling Ooh. they'll keep GXs. I got it. Personally. I got my own egg roll. 
Yeah, egg roll, I, egg roll, get it? Yeah, I, <laughs> I think they'll keep GXs, but I I think they'll do an addition to it. So just like Similar how the black veins, and white went to XY, they kept GXs? Uh, they kept EXs but added Megas. I yeah. think they could add, they could keep GXs but add in like a Dynamax mechanic. Why don't they just change it to DX, Dynamax? They could very well do that, but I, I think with in, I think in a format where we have expanded with EXs, GXs, you don't want to have to worry about EXs and GXs and Dynamax yeah. and DXs as, at the all at the same time. So I think I think they'll keep the GX at least for another generation, uh, or they'll who knows maybe we'll get a expanded rotation at some point. But they have to at one point. There's just too many cards in a format. I I personally like expanded. I think it's I think it's going places at the moment. Whether those places are good or bad is a different question, but I think it's I think we're seeing a lot of I think we're getting back to the point where it's picking up speed again. Like we had that period of a few regionals in a row where Zoro control won and it was it slowed down expanded so much into a heavy control format. But now that we have a big two run 280 HP basics like Mega Sableye Tyranitar. I think it's starting to pick up a lot more speed, and Max Looks are starting to get played again, and other cards like that that just turbo through the format. Yeah. And I think that'll that could be an interesting thing for. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa! What is this? Rainbow Latios? Rainbow Latios. It's not the best card in the world, but I'll take it. I, that is an interesting... That's my seventh pull. Yeah. Oh, you're way further into the box. Oh, yeah. I just got a full art Dragonite. Ooh. Um, yeah, I got that's, full um, I think that could be an interesting tech back, going back to Expanded. Did I just show the code? I did not show the code for the no, Dragonite. Not yet. I think that could be an interesting tech going back to Expanded, be, um, being that it could go with Drampagar, if you ever see, if that ever sees play again, Garbodor shuts off that ability that has that that requirement. Oh my God! You shut off your own ability. You shut off. Your I own didn't ability. even think about that. Um, and then you can, if, and then you can easily just turn one or turn two, or probably turn two, or unless you're playing something like Silent Lab, but turn two, clear vision, and prevent your opponent from GX attacking. And you can just wall against any tag team with tag a regular push. attack on it especially I th when you can I think, just use dementia valley and double call us yeah <laughs> i think i think in that i think in that format that could be an interesting type of tech for a deck like that uh did i show my card i think you did i did because i don't it's have a been, white code recently yeah. so i got Let's my seventh pull see. oh i have an sb on a deoxys so you got your six. You need that secret. I have about eight packs left in my box, though. So get that secret. You need it. Does the alternate art count as a secret? I hope not. <laughs> Costs is a little better because I think the alternate art of that is like a 15-ish card, maybe yeah. a little more. Well, here's the code for it. And my box is done. Okay. I'll wait for you to finish. I will clean up my area. Oop, might have just showed the code. A Rev reset stamp. There you go. Let's see. So far, I think I'm winning. Well, depending on what depending your secret. On what my yeah, yeah. Final thing is. Uh, we have a regular art Raichu Raichu. Okay, so that deserves another code. Would you like to show it as I sure. continue to open? Yep, I'll show it on my screen. Yep. So that's my seventh pull. I, I Which think kind of scares me now. Have you gotten any eights yet? I got a nine pull last night. You got a nine pull last with, night. With two secrets in there. Ooh. And that's post-prism, too, yep. where there's no prisms taking up the rev spot. Yep. Oop, I got a good feeling about this. We got another white code. Nah, it's gonna be hollow. It's gonna be hollow. Hollow. It is a hollow. Oh, but reverse cherish ball. Oh, reverse cherish ball is Take not that. bad. And a reset stamp in the pack. There we go. That pack was definitely worth more than 
More than a bulk GX. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I'd rather have those two cards than a Latios GX or a... At least a regular art Latios GX. Yeah, that's what I mean, regular art or a... We got another white uh, Oh, the, the Heatran GX. And a um, Rainbow Rare Mega Tyranitar Sableye. Or other other way yeah. around. Mega Sableye Tyranitar GX. It would have been cool if they actually put both Megas on the same card. That would have been awesome. Been. Well, when the designers were... Talk, I don't know if you saw the post on Pokemon.com, but when the designers were talking about the creation of the okay. cards for these sets, oh, they they said that they they wanted to feature a Mega that didn't get the it chance is. to be an EX back during the XY era. So and there's only a couple of those. There's only a few of those, and Mega Sableye was chosen as the one. Yeah, uh, Mega Heracross was another one, I think. Uh, I think. Mega Heracross actually did get a card. It oh. was not good. It was Infurious Fist, which, which was before oh, we started getting Mega. Spirit... So, which meant there was no Spirit Link for it. Oh, we have another one? No, we don't. That would have been great. <laughs> it's a hollow rare, though. Let's see. So you got an 8 pull with a better rainbow. I think you won. Mm -hmm. A better rainbow and an alternate art That's full art. That's more than this Choo Choo. Even though Choo Choo is a, a good enough card, it, it's not too, too well. So I'm clearing, clearing my special board because you won that. <laughs> Come on, get yourself an, one more white code. Do it. I'm going to try my best. Last pack magic. Last pack magic. Worked for me last time. I think I got a full art Gen A on, on, on that very last pack last time. Yeah. It's not going to be last pack magic. Okay. Get a Cherish Ball and reset stand. Uh, Rev, Coach Trainer, a Dark City, and a Misty's Favor. So if you're playing a tag team based deck, do you throw in a Coach Trainer and just get a draw four? Uh, it depends. I've seen, pe I've seen people playing Coach Trainer in... Which we call it, Guardian, where you only play the four, but something like Pigaron, where you could, where there's lots of situations where you might want the Jirachi. Oh, yeah. Where you might want the Jirachi active, or, um, or you might be planning to attack with a Zapdos this turn, or maybe even you just have Zorora active or Dedenne. Mm -hmm. Coach Trainer is just going to sit there and he's going to be a dead card versus playing something like Lily or a Volkner that's going to guarantee you something. I didn't read that it was active. I, it I, has to be it active. Has to be active. I thought it just said if you had one on the field. Oh, no, if, if it'd be, I would play it immediately if you only need, if you just needed it on the field. But yeah, I think I'm gonna change up this layout a little bit. I'm gonna put some stuff <laughs> up top. It seems a bit, or at least all the pole type things up top. And I'll put the bolt on the side. Okay. Well, I'm going to clear this out as well. Oh, you give me the bulk energy. I see how it I is. <laughs> so I got you a Behemoth. Did you get yourself a Behemoth? I got oh, you one. Did? Oh, you took out an LGM for yourself too? I need, I need like four of them. Okay. So. Do I think the deck is good? Maybe. Am I going to play it um, because I'm a mean T.O.? You know, I run my league, and back in March, all my friends were making fun of me because they were at, they were with me at my league, and I was playing, at, or one of the one of the kids, the kid's like, I don't know, six or seven, and he yeah. comes up to me, asks me to play a game, and the only deck I had on me was Wild Blue, oh. which shuts, which prevents basics, yeah. and it was it was just me trying to get unknown hand, and. First pack they were all they were all making fun of me for being a mean league organizer, <laughs> but since then I try to play more fair. I try to have at least one fair deck with me for league. First pack magic. I got the slow duck, <laughs> not the alternative art. I've been selling the alternative arts like crazy. No one wants the full art though. Oh, I'm gonna show good for that one.
And the first two packs are green codes, so not the best start. Yay, our moderator showed up. <laughs> Hey, Mouse. Well, we're three for three on, on green code so far, this box. Congrats. <laughs> I'm sure you must be very excited for me. Very excited. You know that just means my last, like, five codes are all going to be white <laughs> at the end of it. You're, you're going to beat me on finishing this box, and then you're going to be like, well, my pulls are so much better, and then I'm going to pull five GXs out of the last five packs. <laughs> Oh. What? Uh oh. Is this Oh. Is this the hyper oh. mutant? Oh. Is there something textured? Oh. Oh. Let's watch this. Everyone. Channeler. Azel. Onyx is my reverse. And Secret Rare Mewtwo Mew. Ooh. That's isn't that Gee. like a Hundred forty dollar card. I just got a regular art Mew Mew. Nice. So uh, I sold mine recently for one thirty on eBay. Oh. Uh, I've seen it go as low as like one ten. Some of them. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll give a code for that. I will show my code after you're done showing yours, so people will get enough time to see both. <laughs> I'll show you mine if you show me yours. <laughs> <laughs> I said after, not if. <laughs> that meant you didn't have a say in it. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how you're gonna beat this. What the. Yeah. Oh, it, easy. I'm just going to get two. Cherish Ball Attack Switch again. I only got two Secret Rare Mew Mews, just to top you. That's the third one I've pulled in all the boxes. The, the funny thing is, uh, the first time I pulled it, uh, I act the... Two packs later, I pulled the full art version of it. Oh, we have a full art Violet Max. Ooh. I don't get that one very often. I think that no? might be only my second or third that I've opened with that. What does Pokemaniac do? Do I should I even want to know? Mm, don't read it. Oh my god! And then this cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Mm. There's the code for the Rowlet and eggs. Oh, I gotta show my code for the Slow Duck. I got another Slow Duck. Oh my god! See, your box is gonna be good because of the one Hyper Mew. But you're gonna get like seven <laughs> slow ducks out of it. Honestly, that's what they do. They kind of they know what card they're giving you is good and they just put trash in the rest. <laughs> Weakness guard energy. You're gonna find people playing one or two of those? Honestly, I don't know. It really depends on the format. I think I don't think Pigaram would play it because there's not much fighting right now. There's not much fighting in the format right now, but I think there's a bit of talk about water somewhere along the lines. Um, but I don't know. May like maybe that would mean Reshizard ends up playing it, but probably not. So which Mega Pokemon are going to come back with Mew Mew? I, my pick is Mega uh, Manetric. Mega Man? Yeah. That was one of my favorite decks. I actually played that at Nats in 2016. Combined it with Giratina EX and a few mm -hmm. other friends. Yeah. My friend Rich played Mega Man, I think he went 3 and 5 or something <laughs> like that. I went one in. Here's a code for. I, I think one in four in drop. I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> at that Nats, you were at that Nats. Yeah. I don't remember seeing you. We I weren't friends you... back then. I know. That's why. That's why I'm surprised. <laughs> uh, the only reason I was down there is because it was on the way back from a work trip. <laughs> I was in uh, Chicago for work, so stopping by Ohio on the way back was not that hard. Yeah. I'd rather I'd rather them keep Nats in Indianapolis. I think I think there's not much to do in Columbus, personally, but no. 
No. I'm welcome to have anyone prove me wrong. But that next weekend was uh, Fourth of July. Four, that was Fourth of July. Yeah. Did you go out to the the river to watch it all? No. There was a concert going on in this in the middle of the street, and I didn't even think it was that oh. interesting. <laughs> Moss, I, I haven't been able to send your boxes out yet. Just been so busy trying to get everything else done. A Lowland Raichu. That's a hollow rare. Not a regular rare. Don't know what it does? Probably not good. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it does. It's there so you can use your Pikachus. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that Raichu GX is gone can't be playing nuzzle chew anymore <laughs> oh well we can but it's... okay well my front common was a murkrow and then the rev is a, the is a rev murkrow so mega save light t-tar regular art okay, you're only two packs ahead of me this, this box instead of like seven <laughs> <laughs> oh we need to pull the weaviles or else we're opening more boxes you can't leave my house until I have enough Weaviles to, for that customer's order. I have order. a family to feed. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> your stream doesn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you have yourself to feed, maybe. I hope you stopped on the way here. I did not. Okay. I grew up here from Danvers. Yeah, but you drive by fast food, don't you? I think I owe someone a code. I owe your stream a code, too, because I just got a regular art. I think there's only one art of it, actually. Correct, but because... Underground Dark Ride. <laughs> because Pokemon because it was a didn't Japanese, make one. Well, no, it was a Japanese theme deck. Yep. So they didn't make anything more than that. Yeah. Which stinks, because those cards would be great. I think people would love it. And here is the code for that. Stop looking at me, cat. You're not coming up here. No matter how long you look at me. Stop it. You can do it, Mr. Cat. I believe in you. Oh, I almost I almost went right by it. They were they, they were like ne right next to each other and I almost put them both in the rev pile. We got a Heatran GX. Uh, you might as well have put it in the <laughs> rev pile. <laughs> it's a Heatran GX. I don't oh. know, what what does this card even do? Let's let's read this together. It, once during your turn, when it moves from the bench to your, I, I'm not even liking this already. Yeah. <laughs> one, you can move all the as many fire energies as you want from all of your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. But why would you want to? And then it does 130. Exactly. <laughs> why would you want to do that to yourself if a, you can only? I would. For I would honestly leave it in as a one of in Reshizard for the GX attack. Uh, what does the GX attack do? 50 damage times the number of fire energy attached to this Pokemon. You need a late game swinger that has two prizes instead of three. He's your guy. Hmm? Otherwise, he's your binder guy. He's a trash guy. Rev Blues Tactics. And a reset stamp. What does this Pikachu do? Not much. <laughs> Ah, uh, the good old Blues Tactics. The supporter version of uh, the trainer. Uh, the, the, the stadium. Beach? Yeah. <gasps> I needed this card! Well, it's actually slightly better than Beach, if you think about it. Even though it's your supporter for turn. It doesn't end your turn. Because it, didn't Beach it end does, your turn? Beach does end your turn. Yeah. So Beach was only really good for the first turn, right? No, it no. There, it depends on the deck, to be honest. Oh, people use Beach in stall. That's a rare. Tag um, switch secret rare. Yeah, a lot of stall. Like, I got two secret rares in this box, and yet you're not excited. I'm. I mean, I'm just. I'm just. Bad you're just at pulling cards. Ugh, you're just not happy that I pulled two secret rares in the box. I mean, we already know. I already told you my first. My first half of the box was going to be bad. I'm just starting my second half, so. Joseph, we don't have time to try to write out a code in the comics. You have to either catch them on stream or catch them on the replay. Because some of these codes are going to be replay codes because we take them away too quickly. 
Or just brute force TCGO until you get a pet something. Exactly, just start throwing Oops. and stuff. You don't know how many codes that I've had to replace because someone has code sniped it just by p typing random stuff. Mm. I open a pack brand new, and then I try to type the code, and it's already been used. Yeah, I've only have, I've only had that happen to me like once or twice. It happened during X Y series for me. Was it base set X Y or no? Because I know yeah. there was that problem with base set X Y for a while. It and was easy to grab. Were those? No, it was um. Actually, no. It was it was actually the opposite of that problem. It was um. It, you could continue. You could continuously redeem the same code multiple times. Oh, I hope they quick that. They they fix that. Quick. They actually banned a bunch of people that were abusing like yeah. that were abusing it. Because um, what they were doing was they they could easily just it was X Y and it was Furious Fist or it was or it was just Furious Fist. But either way, um, they they banned a bunch of people that were at least from using TCGO. Yeah. Um, they banned a bunch of people that were abusing that, and then. But. Did they at least shut it down quickly enough, or no? They, they, it's now, it's since been fixed. Well, yeah, but, but <laughs> they shut it. They actually, they, sh what they did was, I think they shut off trading of packs because the biggest problem was people were offering, oh, I'll just, I'll just do this, abuse this, and then I'll offer up a hundred, hundred codes of fear or hundred oh. packs of furious fist for like a shaman or something like that. Yep. On the on the trade ladder. Wait. Sh it was still active during the time when Shamo was live? Uh, I think this the newest set at the time was Fates Collide. Is Wow, I, I didn't even realize that. Ooh, you want a reverse beam? Sure. <laughs> I just got a slow duck. <laughs> so you got your sixth pull. I got three packs left. I'm hoping to get a seventh oh, pull, but I got two. Go. I got two secret rares, so I'm just happy with that. With one of the secrets being the infamous Mew3. Oh, I don't like the name Mew3. <laughs> I like either Mew Mew or Mew Cubed. It's Mew3. Mew2 plus Mew1 nope. equals Mew3. Nope, that's just... That's... And Umbreon Dockery. I got my seventh, so... I destroyed you this round. No matter what secret rare that you may end up pulling, I destroyed you. What if it's a Mew Mew? I... Doubt it, because we pick boxes from the same case. What if I'm just a sack like that? Speaking of weird boxes... Oh, I owe a code. Um, last night, I opened up a box where I got a Kel the same Kelgi OGX two packs away from each other. <laughs> I didn't think that could happen. Were they both the same, like, regular art? The regular they... art GXs. Okay, that's, that's more likely than having, say, two Hyper Keldios right, right back and forth. Well, yeah. What was it? I think the closest I've done to that was, well, not the closest, but I think when Sun and Moon came out, I got from you three boxes. Oh, yeah. And yeah, from that. all three of those boxes had Hyper Rare Espeons in them. <laughs> I had to have pulled them from the same case. Yeah. I don't think I would have. That's all, weird. All three of the boxes. And... Back then, Hyper Espeon was a popular card. Yeah, it was in the mid twenties, if it, I remember correctly. No, it was. Oh, I, to be used. Yeah, yeah, with Garp. Uh, no, not it Garber. was. No, it was uh, just its own thing. Yeah, it was. It was its own. It thing. was with Mega Mewtwo for a while, and then yeah. and then it and then it ended up with Garbodor. But um, yeah, it was. I remember I, that. I traded one of them. I still have two of them, and I trade. I traded one of them <laughs> for a Tappy Lele GX at pre-release. Wow. <laughs> Which. At the time, was a really good deal for me. Now yeah. it's actually I think the hyper Espeon's worth more than the Lele. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Dustin, you got my only nine pole box yesterday, but but in your nine pole box, you didn't get this. Ha 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 ha. So you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> but so this box is amazing because I got my YouTube Mew that I get to sell, so it basically pays for two boxes for me. Mm. And then I got the tag switch, which I needed for the collection. Which, so I'm down to only needing four cards. My poles are still struggling. This box has not been my friend. I still have a secret rare somewhere, supposedly. Those are the cats. That's not humans. I know. If you guys can't hear it on the mic, I have two very large hoofed cats running around upstairs. Yeah, that's the deal. Is 
Salazzle. I don't like the double salazzle. And they made race. both of them gross. Like, they, they're not even worth it. They're both the uh, Psychic 40 and the Smack Fire. 40. Never seen a rare do anything better than Smack 40 for one. Never in my life. But I don't like having that second attack just for 90. Like, it's not even worth it. Whimsicott. What do you think of this Whimsicott with the Whimsicott GX? Have you seen it? I haven't read it. When you play it from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon... Search your deck for any card and put it into hand. Any card. Any card. So it's a computer search as an ability. As an ability. But then you're stuck with it. <laughs> oh, we got a white code. What do we have? We have a Rev Behem. There you go. There's your Behem. And... <laughs> okay, I think I'm good on those now. <laughs> and a Mega Sableye Tyranitar once again. I'll show the code for that one. Let's see. You think I'm going to have something in my last two? You surprised us last time that you got the... Um, Am I going to get the eighth Secret, secret T-Tar. I still don't have a secret yet. Ooh, oh. Is it going to be this one? Oh. What is it? Three cards? Right? Yep. Three. Let's do it up. We'll do it special this time. It's probably not going to be the last pack special. Nope. Nope. Top of Coco. My boy Coco. He's cuckoo for Coco Bus. Okay, well maybe we'll have actual last pack magic this time. No, we nope. won't. So no secret. Well, it's okay because I got two of them. So <laughs> <laughs> balanced out a little bit, I guess. Yeah. At least for the case. Okay, so that's that. Okay, clean your piles and we'll jump into the last box. Well, probably not the last box, because neither of us have pulled any Weaviles. <laughs> you would think that, opening a case, you would get at least two Weaviles? I mean, unless one of these boxes has, like, three in them. Now, how many times have you opened... I don't know. I know you open a lot more boxes than I have, but I've, I've seen it happen quite a few times for myself. How many times have you opened a box and had the regular, the full art, and the hyper of the same Pokemon? I did that with Guardians Rising with Lele. Yeah. That was an amazing box. <laughs> Because Lele at that point was, the regular was going for like 35, 40 by itself. I think the last time I did it was with. I did it with Shaman with the full art and the regular. Like yeah, that. but that was that wasn't as hard as getting the hyper with the full art. Regular. Yeah. I I did it with Electrode, yeah, GX, in Celestial Storm. Oh yay! There was there was another one recently where I did it. It was, I think it was in Team Up because I. Got four boxes at Team Up from judging various regionals. Yeah. Let's see, so Team Up, what would have been good for there other than the Picaram? It was not Picaram. <laughs> That's a... Okay, I'm gonna get first pack magic again. Ready? Oh god. We're, we're in Ready? There. See? White code. And bam! How do you like that? First pack <laughs> junk. First pack. <laughs> first pack hollow. First pack, Chandelure. So this is one of the ones that you can use Dust Dome for, you said? Yes, it is. Spirit Burner. Discard the top five cards of your deck. This attack does 60 more damage for each Pokemon you discard this way. And then put any number of those fire Pokemon you discarded onto your bench. Not good. No. Plus, why would I Dust Dome when I could just wear candy? And just get to stage yeah. one in general. Right? <laughs> oh my god. So... I pulled the number one secret rear, and then I pulled the number two secret rear in this box. Well, I guess this is um, your revenge for the yeah, last time we did it. I am destroying battle. you. Destroying. You can come back from that if you if you pull the Mewtwo, though. If I pull the Mewtwo? What if I just get, like, two of those? Regular arts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got one of them already. <laughs> Barrel. Will Post is happy. It ain't bad. Will Post is happy. He's got his Bidoof. Yep. But the Barrel actually isn't that bad. At least in the purely format. It was kind of fun. In the regular format? Not necessarily. Mm. Uh, it was 
90, it did 90 damage and it just makes them so they can't use an attack next turn. Yeah, well, there's a lot of reset stamps and terror spells. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, apparently, because you can't open anything worthwhile. You can't open anything else. So. You won the first box. Won the first box, lost the second. Oops. On pace to Church lose the, on pace to lose the third already. Yep. Let's see, Rev Whimsicott, camera, fairy energy. Oh, here we go. This is, our reset first, stamp. this is our first white coat of the box. And Hollow Kangaskhan. Hollow Chandelure. <laughs> Hollow Chandelure again. <laughs> Who am I to get my hopes up? <laughs> <laughs> so at my uh, uh, draft tournament on Friday, mm -hmm. uh, someone was playing this Crustle. There we go, Weavile. With there we go, with Livani. Jesus. So basically, that was negative seventy every turn. Oh my god! See, your pro your thing is that you keep on scheduling your drafts for when I can't go to them. Let's see. I'll show this off. So the next one will be the second. The, it will be the week after the November set release. So wait, is that November second, or, so, is, or are we talking like November eighth? The the eighth. The weekend okay. of the eighth. Because the second's Virginia regionals, and I'd be going to that. Oh wait, no, I'm going away that weekend too. <laughs> what the weekend after? Yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, Minneapolis with, uh, one my, with one of my friends because he's from there and oh, we, so found, get, a, we get, found a concert to go to. Get to miss it again. Yeah. <laughs> the week of release is uh, Rhode Island Comic Con. That's why wow. I can't do it. Yeah, that sounds chaotic uh, for you. Honestly, that always happens. <laughs> Rhode Island Comic Con never moves. It's always the first yeah. weekend in November. But yeah, you keep scheduling. Like, I think the first time you held one of the drafts, what was it? Oh, I had already had tickets to go see Doctor Strange that night. And I yeah. was like, eh. Yep, you just It was, strange. oh, no, it was, it was, it was go see Doctor Strange, which I already had tickets for, or go over... Oh, I owe a code for the heat trend. Or it was go draft Evolutions. Oh, that, that lovely <laughs> set. Yeah. I was like, ah, I'm going to go see the movie. <laughs> yeah, so that was November of 2016. Yeah. See, I remember being invited to all of them. It's just, I, rem I also you've remember... Only, you've only been to, what, two, maybe? I think so. I also just remember terrible timing. And I've been doing these every set since... Evolutions. No, no, before that, I've been really? doing it since either Breakpoint or Fates Collide. I think Evolutions was the first one I was invited to. Yep. Even though I knew you from before that. Yeah. A Dragonite. Like the... The baby. Oh, the baby. Baby dragon. That's the theme deck, though, so... Yep. Soaring Storm? I, I think it's know. called. I don't pay attention to names of things. But the I other mean, theme deck's amazing, with what you get in that. The only theme deck that I know the name for is Night Striker. <laughs> That's such an old theme deck. <laughs> and that that's because, at the time, that theme deck was money. You got, you got a non-hollow Zoroark and when Zoroark was like a $10 card. Yep. It's right you don't know Wave Slasher when you had the... The Ninja? The Greninja. Oh, I actually bought four of those just so I could have four of them and four of that Greninja. Yeah. I played it. I played... Really? Why are... And then the other Greninja comes out and it makes it a lot better. <laughs> no, I... That, no, that's the... um, That's the... That's Breakpoint Greninja, right? Wave uh, oh yeah, it is. So it is a good, better Greninja. It's, the, it it's the not Greninja. the XY base Greninja. So I bought it so I could have four Hollow ones, yeah. right? And the only time I've ever played Greninja in a tournament was Choo -choo. at Dallas Regionals, which was day one New Year's Eve and day two New Year's Day in 2016 slash 2017. <laughs> and I was on the winning in for top 64, and I played Greninja. I was like. I was 5-1-2 at the point. And so winning would have made me 6-1-2. Which was still short of day two back then. Yep. Oh, full art Keldeo. But That's a pretty card. So I'm 5... I'm Right? 5-1? Yeah, I'm 5-1-2. And I go, to, I go there. I sit down against my opponent. I'm playing Greninja. Mirror. My opponent is playing Volcanion. Okay, so... So I'm, I stomp him game one. Yep. I break a little bit game two, which is fine. But you know, we it, game two is actually very close, and then game three rolls around. I don't, I don't think I showed this code. No, I didn't. 
Game three rolls around, and I get the legendary Froki Pass. And my opponent starts Baby Volcanion. He goes, okay, Fury Belt, Volcanion EX, Steam Up, Attach, you're dead. Yeah, exactly. And then I ended up like 134th and didn't even get any points. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I played Greninja at the 2016 Nationals, mm. and that's the deck that I went. Have never played Greninja since then. Ooh. Alternative art, uh, egg roll. Meanwhile, a couple of my good friends, Jamie DePamphilis and Avery George, were yeah. all over Greninja for the last couple of seasons until it rotated. Yeah. So I played Greninja also in a cup Ooh, at, I'm this camera. <laughs> at a Game Castle back yeah. in the day. Back in the day. And I played... Eric and the Greninja matchup for the finals, and I won. <laughs> the only it's the only cup I've ever been to, and I won it. <laughs> I think I owe a code. Do you mm -hmm. owe a code? No, I did the code. Okay. I might. Owe, I'm, I'm. This is a white code, so I could be owing another one very soon. But no, I don't. <laughs> it's a Magnezone. Uh, let's see. My first cup win, I think, was. The most stacked cup I had ever faced throughout the entirety of the day. Um, round one, I played against... It was expanded. Yeah. I, round one, I played against Jacob McCaver, who who loves his expanded Trevenant. Um, recently top eight Hartford Regional with Trevenant. And at the time, had recently top eight, uh, come in second with Trevenant at a different regionals. Um, I played against... Josh Josh Sargentin, who had re, had a Mumbles. month before Mumbles, <laughs> had a month a month before top eight Philly regionals with Turbo Dark. I played against Azul. I played against Jesus. Christopher Wilkinson. This is all in Swiss. And Jamie DePamphilis. You and played then all your friends. In top eight, I played against Derek Dolan. If you remember well, him, he doesn't play. Anymore. He doesn't really play anymore. But I, I still like him. Yeah, I, I played against Derek Dolan. Someone someone I. Forget playing in top four, and then the finals I played against Sam Chen. <laughs> okay, who who is? I am under. I am two and zero oh against Sam Chen in the finals of League Cups. Really? <laughs> Isn't he like constantly always top sixteen in in the world or something like that? He I don't like... think he was last year. I think he wasn't trying for last year. Okay, but um, before then, yeah. I haven't heard Azul's name in a while. Has he kind of stopped playing? No, he's he was number like three or four last year. It's just slow like during the, the this, summer. This coming this year? Pat, like okay. 2019, he was number like three or four. Oh, wow. I just haven't seen him. He was definitely in top 16. He lives what, do you, a, what do you do it all on at the at the beginning of the year? Got all the points? So. I don't think so. He was throughout the year. He top aided. He top aided Madison, which was the last regional of the season. Oh wow! With um, Shedinja. Funny thing about that is, I think I am five and zero oh against Azul whenever I play him, <laughs> which is weird. One of them was a, a donk against his Greninja deck. <laughs> I think he's still trying to sell all those boxes he has. I don't know if anyone's bought them yet. Well, he doesn't buy those boxes. Well, he, he wins, wins them. them. I know. But he was trying to dump them on me at one point, but mm. I just didn't have the funds. Yeah. Charge ball tech switch. I mean, he could also just sit on them for like five or ten years and then sell them for like yep. more. Because believe it or not, even out, though we consider Evolutions a crap set, that set's going to be worth money as a box. Same thing as Legendary Treasures, which is now worth a lot as a box, but yep. for a while it was a $50 box. Well, yeah, because you got 19 pulls per box, so yeah. the only cards that were worth it were the golds. Yeah, but now it's a, now it's a money box, so. Could you get the Mew that you pull at least two oh, of I in the just, box? I pulled my second Keldeo of the box, so we're going to show a code. So, I got my six pulls, but not really getting anything more. We're going to have to open more boxes. But you need, what, one more Weavile? Uh, yeah, she needed one three. Uh, technically, I have another customer that wants two more. 
Yeah. Yeah. We'll stop at pulling three for the night. Yeah, because the other customer I can at least send later. Yeah. But you need to leave my house with her stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Does she know that I'm going to have her stuff? Yep. Okay. I told her that I was either going to drive down to Massachusetts or just leave with Nate. Mm -hmm. And why don't you leave with you? Yeah. She knows me, so. Yep. She, I think she's driving back today from the uh, triathlon that she went to. Mm -hmm. Cherish ball! Oh, we got another white. The white, I, I, white code. I have two is. packs left, and I don't think I'm gonna get any. I have a full art coach trainer. Your last, the last one you needed. No, I needed the channeler. Oh shoot! I, tried. I have plenty of coach trainers, but I tried. I, just, chat. I tried. I just <laughs> sold three of them to one person on uh, eBay. Oh, let me show. Let me show the code for this. Yep. Sorry, chat. I tried to help him out. <laughs> Clearly, didn't work. <laughs> oh! Oh! Last pack magic. Last pack magic! Last pack magic! SP on Deoxys, so it was magic. It's not that I got the magic. I don't want to show a code for that. But now I have to go get more boxes because we need more we need one more Weavile. I was hoping it was Weavile. So Weavile you only get a regular art in this set too, right? No, it has a full, I think. Really? Uh we got well, the latest card. You got it, yeah, I was gonna say you have a few minutes while I'm finishing off my box because I'm a lot slower than you. Sorry. Correct. No full art. No rainbow. Hmm. So I'm guessing that one was also the. the no, I don't think so. I, th I don't think it was. Are we getting the more of the Weavile in the next set? Finishing off. I know it's not going to be a promo box for us. It could be in I won. No matter what he pulls, I won. That's what, he, got a full blues too. that's what he likes to think until, you know, the next pack that I open is a Hyper Mew Mew. Not Mew 3. Mew 3. Likes, no. Never call it that. You you sound like a second grader out on the playground. Be like, they're going to announce another Mew. Another Mew is going to be named Mew 3 because they already have Mew 2. Mew 2 plus Mew 1 equals Mew 3. Yeah. <laughs> stupid this time. <laughs> they didn't bother putting this in a bigger box. They just wrapped four booster cases together. Oh god. So anyone that was looking at my porch could see that it's Pokemon stuff and stole it. The be brown box. Like me because I know where you live. Yep. <laughs> but that would also invi involve driving a half hour up here on a random on a random day and considering I work normal business hours. <laughs> I work no more business now, it's just a house. Yeah, that's the difference. It's you're you're almost guaranteed to be here if I were to come here and try to steal a box. Yeah, before we came here I went in the hot tub. I got a hot tub now. Well, I've had four packs in a row of green codes, so you know that means I'm gonna have some last pack magic coming up within the next yeah. three. Another box each. The crankiest says you. What about me? I don't know. He's on Twitch. <laughs> Justin pulled the Weavile today. Good for you, Justin. Oh, here we go. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I have five pulls and three packs left. I'm feeling it. Secret. We're going four cards instead of three this time. Secret. Energy. Oh, one, two, three. A Dwebble, a Muna, a Pikachu, a Bidoof. A Cosmog, a Drudigan, and a Mawile. I think you're winning. All that hype for that. I think you're winning this box. <laughs> you want to show a code? Honestly, if I didn't get the Cherish Ball, I'm still winning the box. <laughs> Even if like I didn't Would you like to show a code? Oh, yeah, I'll show a code. Did I, did I, did I just yeah, you put that in the wrong file. Right. Go, 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 go. I've had a rough week. I just got back from I'm going to open the I'm All Pack? Still. What is the All Pack? We are opening boxes until we get Weavile's. <laughs> so I said it was going to be six plus boxes. I knew we, 
Knew we wouldn't pull. Okay, last one pack magic's weeks. not working for me, so you've beat me on this box. Hmm. So I pulled out three more boxes. I'm hoping that we can get one more weevil in these three boxes. Okay, this is not working for me. Your piles <laughs> suck. Yeah. I'm a very disorganized person. But you don't do this as often as I do. No, I do not. I feel like every day this week I've opened boxes. Mm. Yeah, I've... No. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, where's my next box? That's my third cherish ball. Cigarette, though. Mm. I like that. I'll pay you $1 for each of them. $1. fifty. Done. <laughs> I'm not checking. <laughs> okay, three boxes. Pick your box. Pick my box. I'm going to go with this, the one that's furthest away from me. Okay. Are we going to split the last box? Possibly. <laughs> we'll do a, a pack draft. We'll at least grab 18 packs from that last box. See One who... at a time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See who gets a, the, the best set of packs. That way we don't pick one side over the other. I hate when people split sides. Oh, because it's because it's funny. They're splitting. Their sides are splitting open. <laughs> Side splitters. The crankiest is watching from Mexico. Viva la Mexico! I'm not watching from Mexico. Ole! We're opening from Mexico. Yeah, we're um we're recording live from Mexico right now. So Mexico. First pack dud. In case anyone didn't know where the awesome country boat is located, we're actually we're out of Cancun. We just have really Boston accents. Yes. Am I going to get first pack magic for once in my life? I am. Hyper Mew Mew. You freaking pulled it. <laughs> you. I can't even say you're a bastard because that's awesome. <laughs> the rest of the packs. Wait, <laughs> the first pack in the box was a Hyper Mew Mew? Yeah. Don't, I... even, don't even open the rest of them. Okay. Um, I'm just kidding. Okay, chat. We're going to be giving away these for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the crankiest. That is the best card. There so he's, he's showing it to you. You guys, you guys can fight over this. I I can't guarantee that it will get you one online, but you know you could try your best. <laughs> I remember back in the day there was some people like, oh, I want that code because you pulled the secret. It doesn't work like that. Unfortunately. No. If it did, codes would. Oh, I would. Code market would be all over the place. Exactly, <laughs> and I would own most of the code market. Well, I kind of already do own the code market. If you guys don't know, uh, PokemonAwesome.com is a website to catch all these codes that we don't show. Purchase them. I just lowered Unified Minds today down to 79 cents. Ooh. And if you use YouTube 10 at checkout, you can get 10% off that as long as you spend $20 or more. So you can get another 8 cents off. What if I spend $19.99? Can I still uh, No. No? No. Nope. Uh -huh. the, the funny thing is I kind of do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, the minimum purchase on my website is three dollars, so I do a lot of codes that are two ninety nine just so people can't buy a single, one single code. That's just be mean. done with it. That's just mean. Uh, I also got Rushizard codes up there. I think I've lowered that down to. Do you have Rushizard boxes? I do not. Did not get them. No? How'd you get the codes? Or did you? Did you oh, I give them to I you? buy them. Oh. Or not I'll, give, not give. You know what I mean? Yeah, all the all the large stores use my app to sell the codes too. Yeah, I, I need. I, need, I want to get myself some Rush's Arts because it's a good card. And I told myself I would wait until the set dropped, or until the box dropped. Which is right. Oh, we got another white code. Ready for this? Secret Cherish Ball. Don't do it. Do it's it. not even close. It's like follow Kangaskhan. <laughs> Remember the last time you were excited about a code in, uh, card and I just said it was a hollow Kangas card? <laughs> and, and it was the Chandelure. I pulled them to Ganadel. I know I wasn't excited about it. I got the Hyper Mewmew, so I'm fine. Let's see. This, so is a, this is a new case, though. This isn't two in one case, right? Yeah, this is a brand new case, yeah. Okay, Full Art Dragonite. I'm already doing better than you. Ah! My pile just fell over. I'm doing worse than you now. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to splash Naganadel in uh, Picaro for the Injection GX? <laughs> I don't think so. I uh, no. <laughs> Add a card from your opponent's discard pile to their prizes. 
That almost happened to me. No, that did happen to me in the tournament last weekend. And you got injection? I got injection by Mumbles. <laughs> and I was ahead on prizes 2 to 1. He also played Noivern. He played a lot of dragons, even though there's not that much dragons in the set. There's okay, so there's only been one time where, if you remember Zerkatry, it was um, put a card from your opponent's hand into their prizes. Yeah. There's only one been one time where in tournament that's happened to me. And I was actually in London for the Internats, and it was like right after the Zerk had come out. Yeah. And... I was actually playing against an American, and he he hits me with a. I go first, and I leave myself with a two card hand, and he he goes, okay, and then does that to me. Yeah. And the two cards in my hand are Professor Sycamore oh. and N. <laughs> which well, at least with which guarantees one. either way I'm getting seven cards. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> because if you put the Sycamore in, I'm now at seven prizes and can end for seven. Yeah. <laughs> So, wow. Uh, Did you come back from that match or no? I, I won that. I started 3-0 at that tournament and then went 3-3 and then went 6-3 and got 80th. So, it was it was a very up and down tournament for me. Bye, the crankiest. Adios. It was nice talking to you. I don't know who you are, but and I can't see the yeah. chats, but... YouTube channel is uh, Pokemon, on, uh, Pokemon Awesome. Oh, we have a Hollow Hoopa. I got a full art. Bam. <laughs> hey, you tried. That's that's what matters. Like, why do they even bother? Like, there's nothing appealing about this card. It's because everything gets a four right now. Like, why do we need a Mawile GX? Okay, ready? I also have a, I have something textured. How? You already have. It looks like it might be a hyper. I'm gonna. Now, what? Even though I can see the frame. So. Even though I can see, the it's trailer, either gonna be I a hyper or a card. full art trainer. Yeah. Get that channeler. Get me that channel. Okay, so we got a Metal Energy, we got a Vigoroth, we got an Audino, we got a Thunderous, we got a Fomantis, we got a Riolu, we got a Purloin, we got a Joltip, we got a Dratini, we have a Reverse Hollow Magmar, Ooh. which means the rest of this pack is terrible, which means this is a Hyper. It's a Coach Trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, guys. I tried. Ugh. It's another Coach Trainer. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Coach Trainer is like... Uh, 6 dollars or something like that for 7 bucks a card. I had high hopes. That could have been a hyper, looking at just the border. Yeah, you can get two hypers in a, pa in a box. I've done that before. That was the box The box that had one of the box, one of the three boxes that had Espeon and, oh, I should show the code for the coach trainer. Yeah, I gotta one show of the, the code One of the three boxes that had Espeon GX hypers had a second hyper in it. I forget what it was. I think it was something bad like a Toxapex or something, but... One of my best boxes was a, a Burning Shadows box that had the Hyper Charizard and the Secret Rare. Um, Guardy? What's that tool that everyone plus 30 uh, that's going out? What? The, plus the, 30? Yeah, it was plus 30 GXs, the tool. Um, I don't think so. There was oh choice band was choice band. that was but in Guardians the, that was that the was card was in Guardians but the secret rare was in was it? Shadows yeah mm. so I got the Charizard and the secret rare choice band yeah it's weird how they do that where they put the secret rare in the next set on some of them I think it's because at the time they were doing the secret in the mini the mini set so like it was like SM two had the choice band in it but SM two A had the um had the secret in it and but sm2a ended oh, up well, being yeah, in shadows yeah i'm still having a better box than you i haven't had a non-textured ultra <laughs> yet so well <laughs> you're gonna have to get one because that's not even possible nope these are gonna be my only three pulls of the box and that's and, uh, it's still be... gonna be better <laughs> Feeling it. We're not even halfway. <laughs> These are gonna be the only three folds of Jesus box. Christ, my box blows. Mo oh, we got, we got another white code, guys. It's gonna oh. be a, it's gonna be a hollow rare. Calling it now. See, it's a frost lass. I have problems uh, pulling frost lass hollows. Mm. Well, I've pulled two so far today, so nice. 
Did you take my hollows at some point earlier? No. Or is it just a really small stack? It might Remember, really the hollows stack. in this set, yeah. uh, you're supposed to get six a box, but the average is about four. Hmm. And it's probably just a really small stack. I'm losing my mind, so whatever. I was like, can you take my hollows from me? You've been Wait. adding energies to my pile. Yes. <laughs> can I get just get a weevil? No. Weevil? Not allowed. A weevil. I want a weevil. Weevil from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Can I just get a blue eyes white dragon? Seriously? The mobile is so bad that I'm not even gonna sleeve it up. Oh, we got another white code. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. It's a Golosapod. I'm not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Uh, I think we're done with Golosapods. I've gotten more than a playset today. Or I or I think that might that might be the fourth I've done. Weavile! Yes! We can sleep now. I, I think we still should still open that last box. Up. We should. Just because I pulled it out. Hey, gun, no hugs. How's it going? Uh, so I owe them a code. I gotta sleeve up this Weavile. And then I got another white code behind it. Oh, and it's gonna an be junk. I got another white code. Here we go, guys. Will this be my first non textured ultra rare of the box? It is, but it's a Mew Mew, so it's fine. <laughs> so you got a twenty dollar <laughs> card. As it, a... It's down to twenty now. Yeah, I saw it pre-release uh, at forty for a yeah, while. Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's gonna end up at like eight yeah. because of the tin that comes out literally next month. Yep. So, oh, I owe you guys a code too. Yep. Uh, people in the chat want to know when we're gonna pull the Black Lotus. Uh, we're opening the wrong set. Oh, which Pokemon set has a Black Lotus? Uh, isn't that Alpha for Magic? <laughs> if, I'll tell you what, chat. If you send us a, 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 box sealed, of... a sealed box of Alpha from Magic, then we will open Dude, how much is open a open sealed that. Alpha box? What was it? Um, Troll and Toad listed a sealed Alpha theme deck today. Or starter deck, or whatever it's called. Yeah. At $65,000. Well, what's on their special website. In, within that theme deck? I have no idea. But they, it's not random, right? No, I don't think so. For a second there, I thought I got a Mew Mew, but it's it's, it's egg roll. But if you know, if the theme deck's at sixty five, I want to know how much the booster box is. Chat, someone look up how much how much it is. Yep. Did you give a code for the Mew Mew? I did. Okay. So I got six pulls and they're all crap. Well, I have That's four so wild. far. I'm only like halfway into my box, so. Let's see. Coach Trainer. Oh, I didn't realize there's a Pikachu on the Coach Trainer card. One of the trainers a, have a Pikachu. It's a Pikachu and Eevee, isn't it? No, uh, no, it's a Pikachu and the <laughs> Oh, I tried. Oh yeah, because it's a it's for tag teams. I'm a yep. dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see oh, the Zekrom at first. Jirachi. Uh, remember when Jirachi EX was a great card? Mm -hmm. Still actually is a good card, right? I mean, it's a level ballable Lele, but I'd rather Mysterious Treasure for Lele mm -hmm. instead of just level ball for Jirachi EX. But I think I have a full out Jirachi somewhere. Mm -hmm. I remember... One uh, regional. Two hundred thousand for a box of Alpha. I remember one regional I went to, where I literally it was ex it, it was expanded, and I got there early on the Friday, so I was selling cards, and I sold my full art Jirachi, for whatever price. Yeah. And then we were testing later that night, and I was like, shoot, I need a Jirachi EX. <laughs> <laughs> and went and paid the exact money that I got paid for the full art to get a regular art from the. From oh the vendors. no. I was just like, I just I just got raked over the coals. I'm like. <laughs> It was, it was a rough weekend. <laughs> so this this box is utter junk because I'm on my last pack and I don't even think I'm gonna get anything. Well, out I, got of a, I got a Rev Ricky Tongue and a Hollow Sebeli. Oh, I got a white coat. So let's see. I'm just gonna go to it. It's a. <laughs> okay. My boy. Well, I'm at five pulls so far with about twelve packs left. Oh, I got six pulls. 
With the secret rare. Rev Dalmai's roll. Look at your stack of, of energy. Oh yeah, my stack of energy. Yeah, you have a huge stack of energy. Rev Honage. A Lolan Marowak. A reset stamp. So I've opened four boxes and I think I've gotten five secrets, possibly. Yeah, five secrets out of four boxes. How do you like them apples? Well, we're tied on Mumu's. Yeah, so you're are. still beating me. Just uh, overall. You even if you didn't get that Mew Mew, I think your box beat mine. Yeah, but I mean, for four boxes to four boxes, I think you're pretty yeah. beat. Well, yeah, I got a little bit better pulse. Honestly, Dustin, I think you can only use Troll and Toad for that alpha price because how many sealed alpha boxes are going to be out there? I got a Tina Chomp. I'll show the code for that one. Rev Magnemite, we got a Galvantula, we got a Fire Energy, we got a Pokemaniac. Honestly, I think that's, I think that's the second Pokemaniac I've opened today. <laughs> Out of my four boxes. Yeah, wow. I've, I'm fine with it, but. Yeah, it's totally fine. <laughs> you need a full art Mew Mew to complete the set. To complete the set? This is the box. It's going to be in the next Mew Mew pack, which is two from now. Okay. Which is probably your last Mew Mew pack. I'm going to open and start shuffling these. So we're oh, we're shuffling them. Oh, yeah. Here we go. White, co white code, but this is an Espeon Deoxys pack. So oh, so you're going to get an Espeon Deoxys? It's a Mega Sableye Tyranitar. Code for that. Now, these codes do not give these cards online, chat. <laughs> so, okay, we got seven pulls. We're going for the eighth now. We've done it before. Not this pack, though. <laughs> okay, here's the Mew Mew pack. I'm feeling it. Full Art Mew Mew. Not going to happen with a green toad, though. It could happen. Okay, I'm going to be relying on some last pack magic for the 8th pull. Because this one's not that much. It's got a Rev Blues tactic, though. And last pack magic. Nope. Okay, so I still think I won on this box. Uh, yeah. pile that we just take back from over here that's no fair you're, you're already like ahead of me because you'll know <laughs> i just you'll shuffled open them faster well i'll make sure not to open faster well we each get 18 okay you ready okay let's do this first pack magic new you me too. Not for me. Not for me. So, first pack, no winner. But I got an upside down Basculin. 
And upside that means it's worth more, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because how are you gonna read the card? It's upside down. Yeah, it it it's default confused. Yeah. So, ready for a second? Let's do this. Another bust. Another bust. We're saving all the good stuff at the end. Escavalier. I'm stopping this pack. I took the pack underneath yours. White. <laughs> I can't even open. Green again. You're, oh. rig you're rigging the piles. Because uh, I decided to take the pack underneath yours instead of grabbing my own pack. Oh, winning so far. It's rigged. Dragon knows. This man took from my pile. You guys all saw it. Technically, no, they didn't because between the cameras. You guys all heard him admit it. Okay. Now I'm going to pick from my pile. Oh, another white code! This game's rigged. Oh, I got to show the code. Ah, uh, just a hollow. Electros. Which. May see some play in Pika Realm. Maybe like a one of possibly. Mm, I don't know. I'd still rather as Aptos, but that's that's four energies you're dedicating to something with with 150 HP. But I don't know. But you know, Coco GX did rotate, so three white codes in a row. Mm, I'm not. And a Weavil GX. I got another Weavile. Okay, so we're officially done for the night then. Yeah. After this box. Yep. So I gotta share another code. I will wait until you're done. Yeah, because if you keep on opening green packs, I'm gonna steal from your pile again. And get another white code. Ready? 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 Another white code! I'm telling you guys, this, this man <laughs> this man rigged the packs. <laughs> this man rigged the packs. Hollow Uxi. I don't know how he did it. So I'm gonna go back and watch the VOD, watch him rig it. I have to put in my bulk in the wrong pile. How <laughs> did I get this many regular rares? <laughs> oh, oh go. you've got the white code. My this first time. white code. Mew Mew. No, it's just Keldeo. Your Keldeo is kind of equal to my Dragon Knight, I think. Yeah, but you got the Weavile, so you're still ahead. Yeah, I'm ahead with the Weavile. Oh, I need to show code. Yeah, right? you show code. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, I went under the stack to get myself a white code. Oh, my God. I'm just a white code finder. And I got a delve. Three to one. This man's cheating. I'm going to have to ban you from my um, upcoming tournaments for cheating at pack opening. Well, you had one this past weekend, didn't you? Or was that next This was that past next weekend, weekend I was at Gen Con. Oh, no, this, this weekend. Coming, coming, right? I am having, the... for those of you in New England, a Worlds Format tournament this upcoming Saturday on... At my store in Londonderry, New Hampshire. And you're allowing people to use... I'm allowing people to use proxies and giving out prizing in Unified Minds. Four days! <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> but one Mew Mewtwo is going to wipe it out. <laughs> Supposedly. Take from this. Oh, you take from this deck now. Yeah. Oh, white code! You should have took first. Yeah. Oh, you got yourself a white code. Here we go, guys. But I got another. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got a hollow rare. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> so on my side, I'm going to pull a booster box worth of GXs myself. And only opening up half the box. The next GX is down here. Right there. White code! Ready, ready, ready? GX time. Nope. Ah. Oh. Garchomp. Is this Garchomp even good? No. I don't even know what it does. What uh, does it do? Plus 80 if you have more prize cards. Yeah. And the attack does 80 plus 40. But oh, you have to discard energy.
There's still a Seeker Rare out there somewhere. It's not going to be me. <laughs> I can tell you that already, the way this box is going. Cherish Ball Tag Switch. Oh no, you had Reset Stamp Tag Switch. No, it's Cherish Ball Tag Switch. Is it Cherish Ball Tag Switch? Green Cut. Oh, backwards. There we go. Un Pheasant. And Talon Flame. A Rev Zerk, a Lottie, a Dark Energy, a Reset Stamp. Ooh, there you go. Green coat again. Where's the next white coat? I think we're out of whites. So I think we used them all. Racist. <laughs> well, technically we've gotten four, uh, six pulls. And I got a white coat, but this is probably going to be a hollow. And a hollow Silvalli. Salute. And a U-turn board. Why would you use a U-turn board? A skateboard is so much better. Uh, it depends. If you're playing a deck that's not expecting to be conditioned, U-turn board is actually better because if your Pokemon gets knocked out, you can promote something and then just be able to reattach it the next turn immediately. Sure, you never lose it. You, you'll never lose that. So if you have a deck that has all one... Uh, or not all, but at least a bunch. Yeah. Uh, miss code for GX. I don't know if it's late, but I'm just going to show code anyways. How do we get down to three packs left? What happened? Uh, one of us opened one and the other. I'm going to open one. And then we'll I'll, open I'll give you... No, I'm giving you the extra pack, though. Well, well, well save, that, save that for when I open the final file. This is a green... Okay. Pack, and then we're going to have to... We're going to have to do a true pack, a true pack battle. Yeah. One, shuffle it up one card at a time. We're going to fight back and forth over which card is better. <laughs> so far, it's not looking good at the rate that I've been going with my one Kelby Oh, okay. I got a green code, so it's already, we're, we're already done here, folks. Oh, I forgot to take the energy out, though. No, that's fine. You ready? Let's do this. First card. Misty's so favorite. Lazzle. This is the rare. Misty's favor has more usefulness. You're right. Because have you seen the stupid okay. attack on okay. it? Okay, okay. Ready? Oh, are we keeping track of wins and losses? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Rev Toxapex. A reverse hollow rare. Yep, yeah, and I just got an uncommon... You win that one? Again, two energies for 70. <laughs> That's a hollow card. There you go. Snover! Water energy. You can't attack without me. I will be used in more decks in the coming year than that Snover will. You win. <laughs> Fletchinger. Lapras. Lapras wins. Onyx. A karate belt. Kind of a, we could use it. I think you win that one too. <laughs> Reverse hollow rare. Tapafini. Yeah, I uh, that uh, Yeah, it's that one. A Pokemaniac. A Murkrow. Murkrow's going to see one more play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I win with the Murkrow. That's funny. Water Energy. Fletchling. I win with water. Noctowl. A Lolan Grimer. Well, Grimer, it's a free draw. I draw for two for free? Yep. Winning that. Terrorblast. Fletchling. I do 20 and 10 to myself, but have 10 more HP, so... You win. <laughs> and... Chandelure. It's a hollow. Onyx. I can get this with Pokemaniac. That's a stage two. Congratulations. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like the Onyx better than the Chandelure. You can win that one. You won the back battle. Now I have to find out which... Definitely didn't win the war, though. <laughs> No, because I got five <laughs> pulls to your one. Yeah. So the pulls are kind of junk, though. Yeah. We got another Weavile, but pulls are junk. I think I'm done. Yeah. I think, I think we've, we've opened nine boxes. I think we're good. A lot of people have seen stuff. I'm going to give one last code to people. You can give one last code if you want to. What if I want to keep the code? You can, whatever. Mm. Be greedy. No, I'll show the code. <laughs> Ready, guys? 
Dun, dun, dun. Code. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to finish it off here. Uh, we did a pretty good stream. We both got... Let's show our, our specialty card. The Aerodactyl, obviously. Yes. Um, or, you know... So we've Mew. opened nine boxes to pull two Mewtwo Mews. Most people opened cases upon cases and still didn't pull any. Mm. But that was beautiful. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching us. Uh, head over to PokemonAwesome.com. Uh, you can use uh, YouTube 10 at checkout for 10% off your order. Uh, we got codes on sale there for this set. Uh, 79 cents code. So make sure you go pick some up. And I'll see you in the next video. Because I still got... I think I still got like 12 more cases left. <laughs> I'm going to open a good amount of them, so we'll see some more. So, like, thank you. Have a good one, but guys, peace.